Hi, I'm Neil Doherty with North Country Whitetails, and I want to try to help you develop a psych profile for your bucks to help you this upcoming hunting season. Now, what do I mean by psych profile? You have to understand that every deer on your property has an individual personality. Some are brawlers and some are lovers, and some just behave like normal deer and could, you know, be a tough guy one day and a, and a pushover the next. One of the easiest ways that you can determine the personality type of your deer is to use trail cameras. If you're able to photograph your deer as it enters into another group of deer, you're going to see how the other deer react to him. That's going to tell you dominance. If a buck walks into another group of bucks and they all part and they give him six, eight feet worth of room, never making eye contact with them, you're probably looking at a dominant tough, uh, tough buck. You also can look at your buck and see how he postures when he enters into another group of deer. Even the little guys can act tough, and they will always act tough if that's the way their personalities are wired. About 25% of your bucks are going to be what I'd call dominant, hyper-aggressive bucks. These bucks, when they walk into another group of deer, will typically erect their hair during the fall, during the mating season, the rut. Uh, they're going to lay their ears back, they're going to raise their head high, and this is all signs of dominance. And the other deer typically are going to react and right move away. The hyper-aggressive bucks, you challenge them in your hunting style. These type of deer have a chance to react to ratting antlers to come in because, again, they're looking for a fight all the time they're out there. They respond extremely well to aggressive calls like a snort wheeze. A snort wheeze is probably the most aggressive call you can use to try to challenge a deer. You're calling his mama names, you're just being mean to him when you snort wheeze at him. And if this is a hyper aggressive buck, he's going to look at that and say, who said what to me? And likely he's going to be underneath your tree. On the other side of the coin, you're going to have bucks that are going to just be laid back and kind of lovers. Last night in the tree stand, I had a six-year-old buck walk into a food plot. He walked in and amongst another group of deer, and he was grooming two-year-old bucks that were standing next to him. Now, we're fairly close to the rut. This old boy does not care at all about fighting or pushing, or for that matter, really doesn't bother the girls very much. That buck was at 50 yards, and I knew not to snort wheeze at him, not to challenge him. I really left them go and just let it be quiet. The only chance you have with those more docile bucks is to try to be uh, gentle with them and really not push them. I could use a fawn bleat or maybe a soft oak bleat to say, hey, look, there's another deer over here. Not an aggressive buck, but another deer. Maybe you want to come over and check things out. Your, little, your do less dominant bucks or that bottom 25% buck is really some of the toughest bucks you can hunt. Now, the other 50% of the deer that are on your farm, any given day they could be mad or they could be just shying away from a hard sparring match and they could be now a little bit less aggressive. So you're going to have to make the call on the stand. If you want to try to become more successful with your deer and you have an individual one patterned, do a psych profile, try to figure out if he's aggressive or not aggressive and use that plan for your hunting strategy.